What's up guys, Sans7 here, and well, here's part two of Ninja's Godly Heroes, and well, waiting a little bit, so we have two turns, and we're gonna pick up where we left off. This is the raid that I showed yesterday, and this is the, the raid that started it all. This is the first raid that I came in, and after seeing this, I was kind of in awe of what he did to this base. Well, what I did to this base with his account, but you can see right there, it's just as soon as Minotaur Prox is just over. Someone in the comment section had mentioned that, well, Minotaur is better than Spirit Mage. You haven't leveled him up yet. You just don't know. And, sir, you are very correct. I went out and was like, okay, well, let's try soloing with this guy. I heard about it, uh, people doing it. And this is going to be the only raid that I don't get 100%. But, well, you'll see what happens. There's plenty of gold out there. And that's another thing about this raiding session is that there was gold everywhere. Now, getting a little low on health, all I've got is that GA left. We're going to drop the GA, but here's that last, oh, there it is. The last proc's going to come in. Can you get the vault for me, buddy? Thank you, sir. All right, we'll go ahead and dip, take the cash. And still grabbed almost 3,000 experience for one guy. And with that raid, you know, Frenzy, well, let's add some fervor to that. Add 17% bonus. And let's see if he can't solo another base. And actually solo it and get the 100%. And we'll see what kind of experience you can get for one hero in one raid. Saw this one. Good gold. Got 100,000 there. And I decided to open at the troop camp for a couple reasons. One, I've got the healing magic. He's going to be fine. He has a lot of HP. Two, there's enough troops there for him to sit there and swing away. And that means he's not running. And it's just going to speed the process up of him proccing more. And you can see right there, the first proc goes off. Then we got the frenzy going. And the second proc, and things start dying. And basically, third proc, it's pretty much just going to destroy everything. Yeah, we got a little left, but he's going to take care of that. And while this is playing out, I want to talk about the update that is coming out for Android. And it's coming out at 1 a.m. And that's in a couple hours, so we're going to be getting the Hero Trials, the Quest, we're going to be getting the Base Editor. Also, because it's IGG's 8th anniversary, we're getting 500 gems and 10,000 honor badges. That's pretty sweet. Uh, I gotta say, and I can't wait to roll them on my second account. I've been saving up gems. I've got um, about 500 something now, and when I get the bonus 500, I'm going to have 7 rolls. I mean, that's a good number to start rolling on. All right, well, and this raid, well, I was thinking, hey, why not just bring in his buddy Pumpkin, dude? And let's see what they can do together. Because he was, you know, doing pretty good. Let's give him another buff. And then you see that, well, everything just goes boom. And I did drop the J here because I saw the hero traps. I was worried about more of them. Glad I did. And that's what, that's right there was what prevented me from losing any heroes whatsoever during the whole time of refilling these vaults. Which, I don't, know, I don't know where all this gold is when I'm raiding. Maybe I'm not high enough might. I mean, I'm on page 24, so maybe I'm not getting to raid the people that are on, you know, page 3, 4, 2, 1, where all these raids are. But I gotta say, there were a lot of really good gold raids. Did not take long at all to fill the vaults. And once I started dropping, you know, all the heroes in at once, realized, you know, there, you know, there is no need for magic on this account. Magic is just fun to use. It just makes things go really fast. Now, about the update with Hero Trials. Now, I've heard that the rewards are honor badges, gems, or hero. But I've also seen screenshots of L11, which I believe there's 12 different stages of the Hero Trials, only paying out like 700 honor badges. If that's the case, ah, that's... You know, that's not so great. There aren't a lot of rewards in it. Hopefully they've changed that since it's come uh, when they put it out on our server. Now, I do know that there's going to be one turn every six hours. And it'll stack up to six turns, I believe. So, that's not bad. Now, the quest board. This is something that I have been kind of interested in. There's lots of different things to do. Um, I've heard one where basically you get a free talent roll. Where you start the quest and it says roll for a talent. So you roll for a talent, and you're given 300 gems. Now, you have to have 300 gems to do it. But if you have those 300 gems, you get them right back, and it's basically a free talent roll. So there's all different kinds of quests, from dungeon raids to you know random raids. 
and I'm really not sure to the extent of what all it does, but I do know that there is a timer involved. You gotta complete the quest in a certain amount of time, and you gotta have a town hall of level seven, which isn't too bad. Now for the hero trials, you're gonna have to have a town hall of, I'm sorry, not a town hall, but you're gonna have to have at least 3,000 might. That means my new account, little baby account, well, it's not gonna get to do the hero trials. Not yet, but soon enough, soon enough. And we're just gonna go ahead and tear through that base right there and see where we're at. Got a few more raids before it's boss time. Now, basically the boss started at 1500 server time but this is what we do with um niggy and friends and ninja and friends well they're doing it over there and that's give everyone a chance to spend a little time with the boss to practice to get used to it and this is just my favorite raid of all time i mean look at that just we're gonna replay this slow it down and it's just utter destruction minotaur <laughs> yeah but, so, I'm going to jump into the boss fight after about seven minutes or so. That way, it gives the other members a chance to practice against the boss, get some strategies together, as opposed to, you know, going in and beating in a couple minutes with just this account, which is just absolutely sickening. But, alright, here's this raid right here, and also, well, of course, there's the arena action, because I've got a couple turns, but i got to get past Eddie Lau, who... I'm only one in three against right now, which he's had my number. And then, of course, if I can get past him, I'm going to get a shot at the number one spot. But I guess if you've seen the first video, you know I do get a shot at the number one spot. So you're going to have to see how it goes. And coming through on this raid, I figured drop the frenzy. Why not? There's enough gold there because it's a 600,000 gold raid. And not, it's 1.5 million in resources and 7,000 XP. Are you kidding me? Where are these raids for me? All right, let's take a look at Serena right here. All right, still only have one challenge. I do kind of want to wait until I have a second challenge. That way, I can challenge Eddie Lau right off the bat again if I do lose. So, I'm going to hold off on that. Go ahead and do a couple more raids. And, as you can see, that vault's up to 4 million, pretty close to filling it up. Well, they left a little spot open there. That's going to be game over. And, you can fix that if you have a spot in your base and you do want to defend against it. You just put a piece of grass there. One of the little flowers for 10,000 mana. It will take care of that, no problem. And, cleaning it up. But, I do got to say, after playing on this account, it just gave me the itch to spend again on my main accounts like mm, roll some talent put like 50 bucks in for dungeon refreshes to just get a ton of shards get those skill levels up i that's what playing on an account like this has done and you know i gotta say also just watching this um again and seeing how just massively powerful this account is it makes me want to go spend again, which is bad. Because I really have not spent all my main. Really haven't spent any large quantities since um, Pumpkin Duke came out. Minus my second account that I had given away uh, when I did get that Spirit Mage. I did spend then, but uh, that have been pretty good about it. So, alright, we're up to, what, 4.1 million? Not too bad. What do we got next? Come on, huh? Alright. I think this is going to be perfect for the four corners. This is, this, I, I call it the four corners attack. And when you have Cupid, Thunder God, Minotaur, and Spirit Mage, you just put them each in a corner. And they will take care of the base. As long as none of them are taking tower or aggro. So anytime you see someone without garrisons up and you have your heroes, these heroes, drop them each in a corner on a circle defense and they'll just eat it alive. It's a very, very simple rating strategy that works pretty much every time. Just make sure they don't have, you know, garrisons out there with high levels where they have the greens in there and they can get out there and reach you and they will just take you down. Now, this is kind of a similar situation, except they're troops, so I went ahead and dropped Druid over there as well. And we're just going to get everybody in, but I'm spreading them out because there's enough stuff on the outside. So everyone's going to get to swing away a little bit to proc a little earlier. 
and it's going to save me from having to use any magic whatsoever for the raids. Which, I know when I'm raiding on my main account, it's huge, because most of the time, that's like a really, you know, good gold total. When I see 63,000, I'm like, yeah! Alright, check this arena again real quick, and okay. Getting close to that time, we got a minute and change, and I believe I... Check the boss real quick and see where we're at, because I know it's going on right now. It's been going on for about six minutes. And let's see, I believe got time for that arena match, and it would also check this real quick and see how they're doing. Okay, okay. I got time for that arena match real quick. We're going to go in here, and as soon as that's over, you can see that timer, that red three minutes and change counting down. That's the payout. What I'd like to do is get two challenges in before that payout, so that way I'm getting Ninja all that HP for getting two spots up because it's massive per hour. So each spot, you want to get your challenges timed and you want to get them in before the timer. All right, here we go. Eddie Lau and oh, oh, I'm running into Minotaur, that's good. The last time I was able to take a Spirit Mage out because that Spirit Mage just eats me alive. And oh, I didn't proc, okay. That's a little worrisome. All right, all right, all right. Maybe, okay, War God Spirit Mage. Going off first proc, and don't double proc on me. Yes, I got the proc off. It's game over. Wee! Okay. That was close, because if uh, his spirit mage did proc that second time, it was all over. All right, nerf boy. And I normally wouldn't challenge nerf boy. He's, um, he was in the guild with me, Katy Perry, and Nikki and friends. But, well... Couldn't challenge him anyways. Alright, here we got the boss here, and basically Cupid just because, well, he's ranged, and from there, it's over. Once the guys get in to start, because all I need is Thunder God with his 5-5 revite, he gets things started off. Now, the nice aspect of this boss stun for Ninja is the fact that he's got a 5-5 five five Berserk champ. That means that boss is not moving. And even without Thunder God, I believe that Champ by himself with Pumpkin Duke going off and Cupid going off, that he would just perma stun by himself. And pay attention to the lightning bolt that keeps dropping. That's every time Thunder God procs. I mean, he's just, he, he's procking something like almost two times every three seconds. So right around that area, it's crazy. But you can also see the 35,000 just stringing off. Now, I gotta say, Ninja, um, he can do it better than me. He definitely has put up more damage than um, I'm gonna put up right here in the amount of time. It's really not the amount of damage because it's pretty much always the same amount, but it's how long it takes to just basically finish the boss off. And I know he's been finishing them off in, you know, 90, 100 seconds, something like that. I'm gonna go a little bit longer, but... Either way, I believe it's going to be just over two minutes. I'll take a two-minute tier three solo. And that's right, guys. It is a, a tier three boss. And as you can see, no worries whatsoever. And it's about to end. And then, well, there we go. Got it? Eh, not too bad, huh? All right, time to move on to the arena and challenge for the top spot. Here we go. Sex will be one. Let's go, brother. All right, gonna go low, and, well, pad placement, it's all about getting the Minotaur out front, because if my Minotaur procs first, and we have an open lane situation, it's gonna be game over. All right, here we go, we do have the open lane situation, and I think it should be good. What are we working up against? All right, Sprinting Reaper, Lots of revite, and that Cupid is a 5 of 5 revite, so it's not going to be a double proccing Spirit Mage. That's a good thing. Stunned him. One proc, and come on, Spirit Mage proc again. Yeah, baby, that's it. Game over. Number one spot. Whee! All right. Highest I've ever been in the arena was eight on my account. Now I get a chance to go after that cup run and take the top spot. Let's go ahead and grab the snapshot of this real quick, because... Don't think I'll be there again anytime soon. All right, well, I want to thank Ninja for giving me a chance to play on the account, but not, not only that, but just having it set up in such a perfect way. When I logged on, 400, or I'm sorry, 4,500,000 in gold, just full vaults. Magic was set up, ready to use, sitting 
at the perfect spot with four challenges in the arena to make a run for number one. And I was able to get all of this gameplay in just over an hour. You know, had the boss fight set at the time. Everything was just perfect. So, Mr. Ninja, thank you, brother. Really appreciate it. Now, going to finish this up and fill your vaults back up so you can have that gold there. Make sure you're going to have all your magic ready to go and hopefully grab a few shards for you. Now, I just got to figure out, well, how much I'm going to spend <laughs> on my main account. Because I'm definitely going to. And I believe some YouTube money's coming in soon. So, eh, maybe we'll do some talent rolls. It's been way too long since I have. And it's time Pumpkin Duke stops sprinting and starts zerking or revitalize. One of the two. That is what I want. All right, well, this is going to finish it up. This will be the last raid right here. No magic. We're going to go ahead and run the four corners. But we're going to wait for this to end. And eh, might as well bring Druid and Pumpkin Duke in. Just, eh, why not? So, cleaning this up. But this video was a lot of fun to make. The gameplay was just absolutely awesome. Because the hero is just being capped. One more look at the altar and... Woo, a lot of shards there. Saving up. I think he's taking that Reaper, like I said, getting him arena ready. Yes. All right, guys. That's it for Mr. Ninja's Godly Heroes Part 2. That's the end of the video series. And one more look at that raid. What? All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Sam7 out.